Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is find the winner of a array game. So in this question, we are given an array ARR, which consists of distinct integers. We are also given an integer K. So you have to play a game with this given array where you take the first two elements inside the array and in each round, you compare the first two elements at index position 0, at one, zero and 1. And among these two integers, the larger integer wins and remains at position 0 and the loser integer moves to the end of the array. So this game will end when an integer wins k consecutive rounds which is given as input and it is guaranteed that there will always be a winner in this game. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name. We given the integer array arr and also the integer k and the return type is an integer. So let's use a queue to solve this question. So you add all the array elements starting from index 1 into the queue and you assign the first element as the current element. Now let's create a variable max element and assign it to the first element inside the array at index position 0. Now let's add all the elements inside uh, the array from first index till the end into the queue and also simultaneously find the maximum element. For that I'm going to use a for loop. So I'm going to use the math.max function to find the max element. So let's use this for loop and start with index position 1 because you are adding all the elements from index position 1 into the queue. Since we are starting from index position 1, you can always assign the current element at index position 0. And you also want a variable to calculate the winning streak. So once it is equal to k, you can terminate the program. So initially streak is 0. Now let's use a while loop which will run until the queue is empty. Now I'm using the poll method to get the first element inside the queue and assign it as the opponent. Now we have to compare the current element and the opponent. So if current element is greater than opponent, we have to send this opponent to the end of the queue. So I'm using the offer method to push it to the end of the queue. And I'm incrementing the streak variable by one each time this condition satisfies. And in the else block, which is the opposite that opponent has won when comparing it with queue. So you have to send current to the end of the queue. And now assign current as the opponent and reset back win streak to 1. And now we have to check if win streak is equal to k or if current variable is equal to max variable. If that is the case, you can return the uh, current variable as the output. So this will happen for all the elements inside the queue and outside the while loop, you can implement a return statement and return any integer. So this statement will never get executed because it is guaranteed that there will always be a winner. So you always get the output from this statement. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code. And our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n because we are using OR loop to iterate from the end of the array where n is the length of the input array given. The space complexity is also O of n because we are using a queue to solve this question. So all the elements inside the array will also be added into the queue. So n represents the length of the array. Now let's optimize this without the queue. So without the queue, you don't need the queue. Remove this. You need to calculate the max element. There's no need to add the elements into the queue. So remove this. And now since there is no queue, you have to iterate through the input array. So I use a variable i, which will always be less than the length of the array. So until you reach, so until i reaches the end of the array, this while loop will run. 
so I'm initializing the variable i and as you use the queue to store the elements from the first index as the current index is at 0 let's start the comparisons to find the opponents from first index so current index is at index 0 and from next opponent will be calculated from index 1 and now you assign the element at i to opponent each time inside the while loop and just before ending the just before starting the new iteration you can increment i and here if current is greater than opponent you just increment the win streak there's no need to add it into the end of the queue here also remove the statement including queue and everything else remains the same you're just not using a queue to store the remaining elements and calculating the opponent you're using a variable i to calculate the index of the opponent so let's try to run this the test cases are running let's submit the code and a solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this approach is o of n because you're using a for loop to find the max element and iterate through the end of the array so n is the length of the array given and the space complexity is constant o of 1 because you're not using any data structure to solve this question you're just using simple variables which have constant space that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video